You're watching Drake Queen Gaming. Enjoy the video. Hey guys, Nary here from Drake Wing Gaming. So you know me on Twitter, the Gaming Dragon, and today I come at you with a new update for Alex's Path. That's right, we are on update 1.05, and it and it includes more content for Alex's route, where you get to go around the go around the city with him. Ah oh man, I'm looking forward to that. But guys, please sit back and enjoy for the next 18 minutes while I deliver you some more Heroes Advent content, and let's jump right in. Alarm Chan, you're up, and let's go. Okay. <clears throat> Ah! You shut up from your bed, screaming still. Eh? You look towards the source of the sound. You found Alex sitting nearby with a bewildered look on his face. Ah, I'm sorry, Alex. I didn't mean to scare you. Alex cleared his throat as he regained his composure, straightening out where his coat would be out of in would be out of instinct. <clears throat> it's all right. You must have had quite the nightmare, huh? Yeah, I did. Uh -huh. You could see yourself covered with some sort of plaster with wires coming out of it. What is all this on me? Oh, it's just some scanning devices. I wanted to analyze you while you slept. That's why I stayed here while the others checked on the crystal. You stayed behind for me? <clears throat> Only because I asked them to bring me one of my gadgets to analyze the crystal. So, may as well multitask while I'm at it. Okay. Okay. How did you manage to bring me here, though? Oh, you know I have my ways. Alex buried his face in the machine's readings, avoiding eye contact. Oh? Festin appeared. Festin happened to, near to be nearby when you passed out from delayed trauma shock, so he brought you back here. Really? I, I guess I need to thank him later, then. You should. Without him, I wouldn't have known who else to ask to help me. Hmm. Uh huh? But nothing. His recent contributions have been adequate. Hence, he would be appreciative of your gratitude. Uh oh, right. Yeah, anyways, here, some food and meds for you. I predicted that you might awake with a headache, so Cody prepared some remedies for that. Thanks, Alex. Don't mention it. Now hurry and eat up. We have to meet up with the others to discuss whatever the hell just happened. All right, then. You took the pills along with the food as you began eating. You couldn't help but notice Alex still eyeing you up and down. Um, something wrong? Nothing, I'm just curious. About me? Not, no. <clears throat> Not if you put it that way. I mean, well, yeah, but not about you, like, you, you, but more to your origin and stuff, I guess. <sighs> I'm not making any sense, aren't I? Hmm. Nope, I kind of get what you mean. Uh, what do you want to know, then? Well, I already know about your insides and how it works. It just fascinates me how you can become, like, this. I'm quite curious, too, to be honest. I didn't know any of this was possible to begin with. What's more, I'm pretty sure Alyssa said she found me already this way. Oh yes, that lady friend of Max. I was hesitant before, but now I do hope I get the chance to speak with her. It might shed light on many of the damning questions I have. Yeah, uh, speaking of which, how's the phone coming along, Alex? Mm, excuse me. It's the same as when we last left it. Haven't got the time to touch the project at all today. Maybe once Festin is done with the paperwork, I'll ask him to continue on some calculations for the next prototype. Hmm, alright then. He resumed eating as Alex monitored your every move, taking notes every now and then. It would have made you uncomfortable if you weren't be if you weren't used to this from Alex already. Afterwards, Alex removed the devices so you could go and take a shower. Then you both headed to the Sky Garden. Hey, Alex, over here. You saw a familiar dragon calling you over to you both. You could see the others already seated around a round table. An assortment of gizmos, gadgets, papers, and half-eaten food boxes scattered across it. You both sat and down next to each other. You're feeling okay, right? Still feeling hurt? Any, still feeling hurt anywhere? I'm fine. Just got a bit of a headache, is all. Thanks again for the medicine, Cody. It helped a lot. You're welcome. You slept more than twelve hours, I think. I'm glad you're safe, Cassian. Thanks, Ray. Can you fill me in on what's happened with the gar with the guardian crystal? Oh, I can fill you all right. <laughs> Ray, not now. Hmm. Ah, you want to be filled in now? Oh, Max too. You're quite greedy, aren't you, Cassian? Damn it, here we go again. <laughs> What's so funny? Am I missing something here, guys? I don't think I've ever cross come across a character as dense as Max is. It's fascinating, really. Nothing! Alright, alright, so here's what's happening. So we're, we're, we're chatting, we're whispering amongst ourselves. 
The others briefed you on the events that transpired while you were out cold. So, nothing happened to the crystal? According to our initial analysis, yes. Not even a single scratch on the surface. I did detect some types of abnormalities in the Magi Field's integrity, but I still require more data to confirm any suspicion. This is just like when we went to the Akai. Someone must have tampered with the crystals and disrupted the field around them. If that's the case, then we really need to go back to there to reinvestigate. But in this situation, I don't think we'll, we'll get a permit that easily. No problem, I got a permit for all five of us. But really? For me as well? Yeah, we need someone to cook us good food on the go. Besides, someone needs to help me bring my tools. Festin will be here managing my lab while I'm gone. But what about my- what about the honeysuckle? I'll file in a job vacancy to help Ashford with the tavern. Okay, but- No but, Steema. I mean Cody. You're coming with us. <laughs> Alright then, if you say so, Alex. Thanks for having me ado. Hey, thanks for having me along then. Don't mention it. As Cody looked away and Alex buried his face into his notes again, you and the others only eyed each other here and there in awkward silence. Um, so, when are we going? Five days from now. Really? Why not tomorrow? I have to keep a close eye on the Guardian Crystal first. It may need, it may be reconstructing its own barrier as race sense, but I still need to get more readings and run more tests. Especially with the Nether Crystal samples from that slug. It might just hold a clue as to why all this happened in the first place. <laughs> Linus. Hmm? Linus? Who's Linus? That's its name. The slug. Linus. Hmm. What, is that the name you came up with, or... Well, I definitely didn't make it up, that up. Well, I don't know. It's pretty hazy by now, but... Something... It's something I can recall from the dream I just had. The, na the slug's name is Linus. Intriguing. All right. Not sure how that would come into use, but... I'll still note that down for future references. What? What's that noise? Shh, just listen. That's <clears throat> right, I'm gonna do a Russian accent for the Guildmaster. Good evening, people. This is your guildmaster speaking. Now that the dust has settled, I ask that all listed mercenaries convene at the main hall, at the main guild hall tomorrow morning for debrief for briefing. The situation may seem to have stabilized, but we must not let our guard down. I expect everyone to be on time tomorrow. What the fuck? This is not a Russian. <clears throat> okay. I expect everybody to be on time tomorrow. Stay safe and remain vigilant, everyone. Ordinez Prosperita. The Guildmaster? Might as well call him the Governor at this point. Fry? Oh, uh, yeah, that is our Guildmaster, Alaric. He's the one managing the Guild as well as the whole city. Wait, you're saying he's handling both places at the same time? Isn't that a bit much? Well, he's quite the capable man. The same can't... <clears throat> Juggling all these characters' voices sometimes gets the uh, word caught in my throat. The same can't be said about his son, though. Hmm, you can say that again. Hey, don't be like that. He means well, all right? Maybe around you, Max. Shh. He's still the Guildmaster's son. Respect where it's due, guys. Who's the Guildmaster's son? You will know in time. Hmm, all right, then. Well, that concludes our meeting for today. It's been fun meeting you guys like this again. Yeah, I guess it has been, huh? Well, better run now. Let's not show up late tomorrow. Besides, I think Cassian still needs more rest. With that, everyone bade each other goodbye as you headed back to your room with Alex. You chatted, you chatted for a bit before he wished you a good night and left. You were still feeling weak and tired from the encounter. You got in bed and immediately drifted to sleep. You woke at your bed as the alarm clock went off. You had a terrible dream that night. It was the same it was the same shattered figure chasing you down the stone corridor. Though at some point you heard a voice reaching out for you. It was spectral in some ways, utterly incomprehensible, yet oddly soothing. And ever since then the dark machinations around you all fell apart as the nightmare returned to what you would describe as a normal dream. <sighs> I needed this. You sighed to yourself, feeling grateful, especially after what happened yesterday. You could say it was a perfect way to start a new week. You sat at your bed for a while before getting ready for the day. They're gathering all available mercenaries down the hall today, so you'd better show up on time. You quickly made your way to the main lobby after going through your morning rituals. The place was already packed as people lined up around the center. You could see a big feline standing at the podium as you, as you squeezed your way in line. The others, even Cody, were also there as well, albeit separated at different lines. 
They seemed a bit different, a tad out of it, if you dare say yourself, though you kept the thought to yourself as the person on the podium sounded off. Good morning, everyone. Oh, Guildmaster Alec. Good morning, uh, Master Alaric. At ease, people. Hope you all are doing well this morning. Now, it has come to my attention that a number of rumors have arisen regarding what to what caused the recent catastrophe. And for that, I must remind you that at this point, we all know precisely what happened that night. Indeed, a saboteur among us managed to disrupt our city's defense system. A very symbol of hope, order, and prosperity. The Guardian Crystal itself. Its unwavering protection had shielded us from countless outside threats for two decades. But for that, it's rendered us complacent. This simply cannot happen again. May this incident forever remain a grim reminder of what would happen as soon as we let our guard down. It may have weathered the storm, but this war is still far from won. I gathered you here because you're all that stands for the city's peace and order, the Galanteers. Remain vigilant, group up with your team, and patrol the premises. Gather every bit of information that you can. Apprehend any suspects and interrogate them through and through and through. Ah, yes. I've also been informed that our citizens have begun using the request board again. Make sure to tend to their needs appropriately. Now go, Galanteer, oh, Galanteers, and by your might to illuminate your path and vanquish those foul nether beasts. Ordini Prosperita. Ordini Prosperita. You are dismissed. With that, the mercenaries quickly group up and headed their own ways into the city. After a moment, you saw Max and the others gathered in a corner, so you went to them. Good morning, guys. Ah, good morning, Cassian. Good morning! Oh, you're here. Morning! You're just in time, Cassian. I was just about to give this to you guys. It's not that, is that that prototype you've been working on? Yes, I finally managed to put, uh, put one up together. It's still, rather base, it's still rather crude compared to the device Cassian provided, but the basic functionality is there, and it's compact enough to fit into your pockets. Um, what's the difference between this and the device you gave us? Well, this one, instead of beeping, it can send voice or text messages between devices. Ah, so just like the Crystal Communication Hub. Yes, but much smaller. With this, maintaining communication across greater distances will be much easier. We can contact each other more reliably at the first sign of trouble, and the map function can help with navigating the terrain. Oh, wait! There's a map on this thing, too? Yeah, I installed a world map module along with the core system. It'll be harder to get lost out in the field now. Hmm, and what if the power runs out? Just put it next to an energy crystal. It will automatically siphon from it to recharge. That's very neat, Alex. Well done. Thanks. I could have done it this without Cassian's device. It's pretty much what inspired this prototype. So, thank you, Cassian. You're welcome, Alex. Glad I could be of help. I still have more testing to do, though, so I'll be counting on you for further assistance. Yeah, I got your back, Alex. That's good. <clears throat> Anyways, here. Alex handed the prototype phone to you and the others. To use it, just tap the crystal and the main screen will appear. You can touch the symbols there to navigate between programs. Alright then, thanks Alex. Make sure to keep it safe. These are the only working ones I got. If you manage to break it, I won't have any spares to give you. Ah, oh, what about my heart? You broke it once, you know. Well, too bad then. It better luck looking for it elsewhere. Now, now, let's focus on the task at hand. I know it's been a few years since we worked together, but let's do our best as a team, all right? Hmm. What is it, Cody? <sighs> I just can't keep my mind off the kitchen. Well, Alex did call in a temporary replacement, right? A bit further ahead of the schedule, too. It's gonna be fine, man. Now you can focus on your duty in our trip to the Akai. I don't know, Rai. <sighs> I'm sorry, guys, but truth be told, I'd much rather be working in the kitchen. What do you mean by that, Cody? Well, I just... I think I'm way behind the curve. There's no way I'd be fit for this line of duty anymore. Nonsense, Cody. You're already here, though, aren't you? We all know how capable you can be. Just have more faith in yourself. Well, I could be pretty capable in the kitchen. Cody. Huh. <sighs> Sorry, I guess I'll try. I can't guarantee anything, though. That's all right. What matters is that you still want to try. That's the start, right? Right. Well, for today, we're going to inspect a few different places at the same time. At the same time, shouldn't we stick together? And the field, sure, but it's still much safer in the city to be on your own, be on our own, despite what happened recently. Besides, Alex's device already allows for ease of communication, so it makes sense to split up and investigate places we're familiar, we're familiar most with. Sounds good. I'll head over to the beach then. I'll investigate the market. I'll be at the Guardian Crystal to run some diagnostics. All right then. I'll go to the old mines. Might find some clues there. Ray. Yeah. 
They're screwing around, all right? Yeah, yeah, I know. Might still screw somebody, though. Ray. Yeah, <laughs> all right, all right. I'll just chill, man. This is this isn't a this ain't a race, you know. What about me? Well, you can do some investigation on your own, Cassian. I'll give you a more authentic experience. There are already several requests on the board as well. Then afterwards, you can follow up with me. That's still very vague. Uh, sure, I guess. Or you can try to, or you can try to help me. Just come along with me to the beach, and we can have some fun. I'm just kidding, but do join me if you'd like, Cassian. I could use an extra hand with the testing too. Well, if it's... well, it's up to you to decide, Cassian. Good hunting. All right, I'll be off then. See you guys later. Just use the map function to get around, in case you forget where a certain part of the, where a certain part of the town is. Could use more refining, but I believe it should be easy for you to read. All right then, see you guys later. And with that, you're left alone in the hall. What do you want to do? All right, however, in the future days, you'll say, okay, so I can do whatever I want. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is save it right here so that we can have fun and doing all kinds of things. Let's do the gym. Yeah. Let's do some gym stuff. Decided to head to a vacant training room. I clearly have a book this page. You notice that nobody seemed to be using this room at all. So as long as you don't wreck anything, you'd probably be fine. Let's do some strength. Yeah. Some strength. Yeah, there we go. All right. Yeah, we're going to go to the gym again. Yeah, we're going to get nice and sexy for Alex. Yeah, hell yeah. Look at that. Look at that big, beautiful... I'm exercising my mind. I'm not exercising my mind. Press board. What do we got? Press board. Note to There were quite a few requests. Please help down at the front. How handsome you rewarded. Note I'm down at the beach. Do you want to take it? Yes. Well, that's all I can do here for now. Probably should check with my phone and see how the others are doing. Let's, uh, private broadcast. Let's do Max. Hmm, Cassian, is that you? Wow, this thing actually works after all. Damn. Well, I'm at the old mines if you want to help. See ya. See ya. Do the Alex last. Cassian, damn, this thing is so cool. Y yeah, I guess so. Heh. <laughs> well, go to the beach if you want to find me. I'm investigating some things with Finn. You know, this, you know his place, right? Uh, I don't think I've met him before, no. Ooh, well, no worries. I'll show you where he is. Just go there and we can talk about the details. See ya. See ya. Cody. Uh, hello? Cassian? Uh, how does this thing work? Uh, Cody? Ah, yes, yes. Hi, Cassian. How do you do? I'm at the market right now. The people here might know something about yesterday. Come meet me here if you can, all right? I... Cody? The call ended abruptly. He must have hung up by accident. Kitty cat. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What is it, Cassian? I'm at the Guardian Crystal, so come by if you want to lend a hand. K, okay, bye. I go to the Guardian Crystal. I'm gonna get us some Alex. I decided to go to Vitrum Park, where the Guardian Crystal was. It was quite easy to find the park, given that you could see the crystal from every corner of the city. The park was divided into two sections, the outer and the inner ring. Where do you want to go? Let's go to the inner ring. I decided to go to the inner ring park. Almost immediately, you noticed that there were much fewer people around and a lot more mercenaries patrolling the premise. Most of them seemed on high alert. Halt! State your business! Um, I'm from the Guild. I'm here to meet up with... Yeah, I can see you're from the Guild, but have you any permit or legal paper for business here? The legal paper? Is that really necessary? I'm just here to investigate, after all. Well, look around you, pal. Plenty of men around to do the investigating for you. Now see here. You seem to be a little lost, so I'm just going to spell it out for you. This part of Vitrum Park is now a restricted area. Has been since yesterday. What, you think this is some sort of place you can just waltz in and ask for people? Uh, uh no, no, of course not. I I'm only here because Alex said he might need my assistance, that's all. Oh, really? Buddy, you have no permit, can't even state your business properly, and why would Sir Alex need your help? Actually, how do you even know his name to begin with? You, buddy pal, are being quite sus, might I say. You know what? I'll just leave. Sorry to bother you all. Let's save it right there. Why are, these, why are these guards such assholes? <laughs> we're gonna be guards. Yeah, we're guards. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. This has been a new episode of Heroes Advent, Alex's Path. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, ring that notification bell, leave a super thanks or a tip if you can, it always helps. Until the next video, I love you all. I'll see you next time. Bye bye